Welcome everybody. Thank you for attending this tech talk, transforming cloud operations to drive successful migrations with AWS managed services. My name is Michael McGarvey, and I'm an America's delivery leader with AWS managed services. I've been fortunate to work with a number of our customers and partners on large scale migrations. Today, we're gonna to cover the importance of transforming your organization's capabilities when migrating to the cloud, especially when supporting a migration. We'll discuss common challenges encountered by companies migrating to the cloud, as well as best practices for overcoming them and executing a successful migration. We'll also discuss AWS managed services and how it can help accelerate your migration and bolster cloud capabilities. Companies migrate to the AWS cloud for a number of reasons. It can be compelling events such as mergers, acquisitions, divestitures, or data center consolidation. It can be strategic objectives such as digital transformation, improved security and operational resilience, cost reduction, or agility and productivity benefits. These drivers over thousands of migrations have correlated to a number of benefits. According to IDC and AWS analysis, compared to on-premises, our customers see on average 31% infrastructure cost savings, 62% efficiency gains in IT infrastructure management, 69% reduction in unplanned downtime, three times more features delivered per year, and 43% fewer security incidents per year. It's important to understand that to truly unlock the long-term benefits of migrating to AWS, migration should be viewed as a compelling event to transform the organization. Enterprise migrations are challenging. They are disruptive to both the business and IT. Many customers experience the same common challenges, starting with discovering and deconstructing the on-premises environment. Discovery of workloads across the on-prem environment is a complicated undertaking. It requires mapping applications and workloads to underlying infrastructure and understanding the various dependencies and performance requirements of applications and their workloads. One customer example, we had a customer that didn't have the right tooling for discovery, which led to the inability to leverage data to plan migration patterns and waves. It required substantial manual effort from application subject matter experts, often constrained by bandwidth, to manually document application architectures, dependencies, and the patterns across the application portfolio. Also missing was the detailed performance data for the various infrastructure components. The combination of these, of these issues caused delays in the migration resource constraints, and over-provisioning of the infrastructure resources, which led to our next challenge, managing costs. In the previous scenario, the customer experienced substantial increases in cost compared to the economics of their business case, requiring them to urgently repurpose resources to focus on cost optimization during the migration. It's also important to factor in the migration bubble when going through a migration. This occurs while maintaining the ex existing environment and covering costs of the migration. Customer examples, we've seen some assume that their existing on-premises licensing could be shifted to the cloud, which isn't always the case. License portability cannot be assumed. We've also seen customers who have overlooked a strategy when it comes to storage lifecycle policies, keeping the vast majority of the data in the highest cost location versus leveraging lower cost archival solutions. Remember, migration teams are focused on velocity, not necessarily on cost. Migrations that are missing a housekeeping component, which is ongoing cleanup of resources provisioned as part of the migration, but not needed on an ongoing basis, cause cost blowout and create administrative overhead during cleanup efforts. The next item is cloud readiness. It's critical for customers to understand where they are in their cloud journey and to address any areas of opportunity in terms of cloud readiness, which include things like a business case, application portfolio, migration plan, migration experience, a center of excellence, operating model, landing zone, and security and compliance. With gaps in cloud readiness, it's very difficult to migrate and support those workloads in the cloud. Some customer examples, we've seen customers attempt to meet aggressive migration timelines without adequate cloud skills, experience baselines, or a plan for organizational training, resulting in knowledge gaps for support of core landing zone components and challenges operating workloads in the cloud, specifically infrastructure. Overall, this creates substantial operational risk. We've also seen lack of governance around provisioning, leading to the creation of non-standard, unapproved resources in production environments. This requires the organization to review and make changes after the fact 
and to perform substantial cleanup and standardization. It's important to keep in mind that AWS provides a migration readiness assessment, which is a workshop with cross-functional representation across your organization. This is a great starting point and opportunity to build consensus regarding the organization's current readiness, identify and align around next actions, and determine any risks. Security and compliance. Security is job zero at AWS, and we recommend our customers use the same approach. We've seen customers migrate workloads without establishing security foundational elements such as logging and monitoring strategies, infrastructure security baselines, data protection guidelines, or an established security incident response process. This has resulted in a lack of ability to process and analyze the various log sources and truly understand what they mean. Security risk exception approvals for workloads going live, especially when it comes to compliance requirements, inconsistent data standards, and organizational challenges when handling security issues. People and culture. Traditional operating models are typically siloed, which makes cross-organizational communication, policy, and governance difficult, and ultimately slows innovation. We've seen customers implement a strategy and execute a migration without communication and strategic alignment across organizational stakeholders and technical teams. This leads to delayed or stalled migrations, lack of an overall strategic vision to rally the organization around, and team members not knowing where they fit into the new organizational model, which causes productivity issues and ultimately attrition. To avoid these challenges and improve chances for success, customers should follow best practices recommendations, including starting with a robust business case. Migration drives real business outcomes that deliver long-term value to your organization. In addition to cost savings, these outcomes include staff productivity, operational resilience, and business agility. The business case provides leadership with a data-driven rationale to support the migration and consists of run cost analysis, cost of change, labor productivity, and business value. Business cases evolve through several iterations, including directional, refined, and ultimately detailed. Directional is based on estimates and rough order of magnitude assumptions to drive early buy-in. As additional data is compiled, the business case is refined. As detailed discovery of the on-premises environment is conducted, the business case becomes more detailed. It's important to remember that Migration Evaluator helps you gain access to insights and accelerate decision-making for migrations to AWS at no cost. It simplifies discovery, provides an assessment which includes projected cost estimates and saving, and can help fast-track a migration, delivering assessments proven to reduce costs by up to 50%. Stakeholder alignment and frequent communication. To drive true long-term transformation, it's critical to have executive sponsorship, not only in IT, but also across the business. Leadership should be aligned with the decision to move to the cloud, and it should be communicated on a frequent basis to reinforce strategy and maintain alignment throughout the organization, both during the migration and beyond. Discovery and application portfolio planning. Discovery and application portfolio planning are critical to understanding the on-premises environment and help drive a strategic approach for each application or group of applications, driving well-structured project planning and cost estimates. Ob objectives include creating a high-fidelity migration plan for the organization's application portfolio, identifying and mapping application and infrastructure dependencies, understanding how applications communicate and perform in their current state, documenting application criticality and life cycles, and grouping application migration patterns, such as rehost or lift and shift, replatform or lift, tinker and shift, refactor or rearchitect, repurchase, retire or retain. Also determining migration readiness, suitability, and target state designs. It's recommended to use automated discovery tools, AWS tools such as AWS Application Discovery Service, TSO Logic, or partner tools such as Flexera, Dynatrace, or AppDynamics and keep data current by continuously running these tools in an automated fashion. Establish foundational capabilities. It's important to start the migration journey by focusing on the basics. People. You likely already have the people that you need. They just need to be trained. It's critical to establish a CCOE or a cloud center of excellence with cross-functional membership to enable accelerated and sustainable adoption of cloud across the enterprise maximizing the ability to realize its benefits, benefits while reducing risk. Process. It's important to cover things like operating model, 
provisioning, financial management, and security operations, and technology, components like the landing zone, security foundations, and operations tooling. Take advantage of AWS support. AWS support provides a mix of tools and technology, people, and programs designed to proactively help you optimize performance, lower costs, and innovate faster. AWS support offers a range of plans that provide access to tools and expertise to support your workloads. Business and enterprise support plans provide 24 by seven access to customer service, AWS documentation, technical papers, and forms. For technical support and resources to plan, deploy, and improve your AWS environment, you can choose a support plan that best aligns with your AWS use case. With enterprise support, which is recommended for customers with production workloads, AWS Technical Account Managers, or TAMs, and the Billing Concierge are invaluable resources. They become part of your broader cloud team and can serve as central points of contact and escalation paths with AWS, as well as a robust source of technical information and guidance. Focus on organizational change management and operating model. Organizational change management is a programmatic methodology of tools and processes that minimize the organizational impacts brought on by change and increase business adoption of new ways of working as companies transition. Organizational change management accelerates business adoption, minimizes performance dips during transition, and shortens the project completion time. The AWS Organizational Change Management Framework addresses changes at the organizational, program, and individual levels. An operating model describes how the business and IT align their capabilities, processes, ways of working, and their people to achieve the enterprise's strategic objectives. Unfortunately, in many organizations, business and IT are not aligned. And finally, leverage a partner. AWS competency partners have helped thousands of customers migrate to the cloud, utilizing a proven approach to help com companies achieve business objectives more quickly. AWS Partner Network is a global community of partners who leverage Amazon Web Services to build solutions and services for customers. These partners are uniquely positioned to help customers take full advantage of what AWS has to offer by providing expertise and comprehensive capabilities at each stage of the journey. AWS competency partners must undergo rigorous validation as well as an assessment of the security, performance, and reliability of their AWS offerings and practices. As previously discussed, AWS and our migration competency partners leverage a proven framework to enable migrations at scale, known as the Migration Acceleration Program. MAP is built on a three-phase approach to help customers through the migration journey. It starts with the assess phase that includes a migration readiness assessment for your leaders and sponsors, along with a rapid discovery to support creation of a total cost of ownership model to help you build business support for your migration. It determines your organization's capabilities, readiness, and commitment to migrate to the cloud across the cloud adoption framework perspectives, including business, people, governance, platform, security, and operations. The second phase is mobilize, which includes work streams identified in the assess phase to build your capabilities and get firsthand experience migrating to AWS. Mobilize focuses on developing core components such as the landing zone, operational readiness, cloud skills, a robust migration plan, and a compelling business case for the migrations. Mobilized activities include the actual migration of a recommended three to five applications, which is how your teams build capabilities and experience. It typically runs from two to four months and involves ProServe and or a partner that prepares you for large scale migration and operation, which leads into phase three, migrate and modernize. One of the key outcomes of the mobilized phase is the experiential learning that it provides. The Mobilize engagement uses accelerators to deliver the following outputs and outcomes for customers. It collects data inventory and application data to assess the portfolio and develop decision criteria to create an initial migration wave planning, deploy and validate the landing zone, develop required operating and governance models, and migrate three to five applications to the customer production environment, gain hands-on experience operating in the cloud to build confidence, skills, and competency for the migration and transformation of the organization, define, implement, scale, and automate, where applicable, the customer's security risk and compliance controls on AWS, establish the future operating model for cloud and plan, guide, and support an efficient progression of the operational model during the migration, 
And remember, these accelerators generate early alignment, speed up requirements gathering, and expedite first migrations to compress the overall engagement timeframe. During the third phase, migration and modernization, you will continue to migrate waves of applications at scale and operate and optimize your cloud environment and applications. Again, this is typically done with AWS professional services and or a migration competency partner. Throughout thousands of migrations, we've seen customers realize success when following recommended best practices. During the migration, it's important to start with less complex applications, stack wins, and build confidence. It's important to develop cloud knowledge and capabilities through experiential learning. Start with low criticality, low complexity applications to prove the migration methodologies, build confidence, momentum, and buy-in across the stakeholder landscape, and also check migration workflows for any gaps. Establishing migration factories and automation. Build a robust migration factory made up of teams, tools, and processes all centered around the migration activities. Document and reuse for similar workloads. Set benchmarks and measure. This will help drive migration velocity. Automate patterns where possible and deploy infrastructure as code to drive velocity while lowering cost and potential error. Remain agile. It's important to adopt the agile methodology. Start small, iterate, measure, manage, and scale. It's important to balance speed and governance. Include housekeeping in the migration. As we previously mentioned, the migration team is focused on velocity, not necessarily cost. So it's important to include house housekeeping activities in the migration, such as cleanup of unused EC2 instances and EBS volumes. This will minimize the amount of cleanup required post-migration and will allow you to focus on optimization. Training. As part of organizational change management, companies should emphasize the creation of skills assessments and develop training plans to address gaps and skill up their teams to operate in the cloud. Especially during a migration, it's critical to establish robust training and onboarding plans to quickly ramp new team members and maintain migration velocity. Considering le consider leveraging AWS training and certification for deep training and enablement capabilities to help train customer teams at scale. We'll discuss AWS training and certification later in this tech talk. Testing. Work with application teams to establish testing criteria and plans prior to migrations. Each application component should go through a series of predetermined and well-documented tests. By partnering with the business to develop testing plans and criteria early in the project, validation activities will be streamlined, the business will buy in, and value can be quickly demonstrated. Managed services. It's important to, to leverage managed services such as RDS, directory services, and AWS managed services. With managed services, you don't need to worry about administrative tasks such as infrastructure provisioning, patching, or configuration. AWS focuses on operational tasks while you focus on differentiated, higher value work. Leverage a partner. You'll hear this mentioned throughout this tech talk. The Amazon Partner Network provides access to a wealth of partners with various competencies and deep AWS skills to help your organization migrate. We've seen that customers who leverage a consulting partner can finish their migrations up to 25% faster. Game days. Game days are important joint exercises to demonstrate service integration and workflow for operational and security situations that may arise. Educational in nature, they reinforce confidence that the people, process, and tooling work while providing an opportunity for customer team members to learn and familiarize themselves with common processes in a safe environment. Game days are critical for testing processes and building experience in a controlled environment on a weekday afternoon versus Saturday at 2 a.m. So when a real production issue occurs, the team is familiar with how to handle it. As companies migrate production workloads, they should strongly consider conducting well-architected framework reviews via the well AWS Well-Architected tool. It's a mechanism for customers to review the state of workloads and evaluate them against the latest AWS architectural best practices based on the well-architected framework and five pillars, which include operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, and cost optimization. It was developed to help companies build secure, high-performing, resilient, and efficient application infrastructure that scales over time. Reviews can be conduct conducted by the AWS Solutions Architecture team or our well-architected partners. And the benefits include learning the, strate the strategies and best practices for architecting in the cloud, 
measuring architecture against best practices, and improving architectures by addressing any high risk issues identified. Ever since I joined AWS, I've gravitated towards this graphic. It does a great job illustrating the cloud journey and where the migration falls in the overall sequence. Once the migration is completed, actions must be taken to ensure the organization is truly taking advantage of cloud capabilities. Operational transformation is moving towards an organizational model of enablement and empowerment and away from control and silos. Some of the common areas to focus on include embracing reality. Now that you're operating in the cloud, it's important to recognize that you've taken an important step in the journey. The focus should shift to changing tool sets, skill sets, and mindsets to unlock the true value of the cloud. Operational and organizational transformation. Operational transformation must continue to evolve. Operations should transform in the cloud to enable innovation, scale, and speed with a focus on standardization and risk management. Focus on the what and not the how. Enable a centralized marketplace of approved services and capabilities. Automate your shared services. Drive accountability at the edge. Remember that agility comes from self-service and self-management. This unlocks the ability to truly start with the customer and work backwards. If organizations are going to become cloud native, it's critical to not only address the right side of the cloud adoption framework, which includes platform, security, and operations, but also the left side, which includes business, people, and governance. Shift to cloud native tooling. Adopt cloud native tooling, especially when around management and governance tools like Amazon CloudWatch, AWS Config, AWS CloudTrail, AWS Systems Manager, and AWS Organizations. With these tools, customers can enable, provision, and operate their environment with both business agility and governance control. Emphasize automation and infrastructure as code. Take advantage of the automation opportunities and capabilities of the cloud. Revisit operational processes for automation candidates and leverage cloud permission to treat infrastructure as code. Amazon uses a flywheel approach, which customers have found valuable. Optimization and modernization. Once workloads are running in AWS, the next phase to focus on is optimization and modernization. This is where value of the cloud is unlocked. We'll discuss this more in detail on the next slide. Many companies compare their total cost of ownership against plan immediately after the migration is completed. As we've seen, the migration is only part of the journey. We typically see at least 20% savings with just a lift and shift, but there are still many levers to pull to drive cost optimization, such as leveraging reserved instances and savings plans, instance right sizing, cleaning up unattached volumes, cleaning up old or unused snapshots, releasing or decommissioning idle EC2 or RDS instances, implementing storage lifecycle policies, and leveraging instance scheduler, which shuts down resources when they're not in use. Typically, over the first few months, customers continue to optimize and right-size their EC2 instances for an additional 10 to 20% savings. By continuing to modernize and optimize, leverage cloud-native capabilities, and take advantage of managed services, Many customers see savings of 60% or more. It's important to remember that a true total cost of ownership comparison can be made when an organization is running fully optimized on AWS. We've discussed a number of challenges in this tech talk, and as you can see, they manifest across industries and customers of varying complexities. The vast majority of enterprises are determined to move to the cloud. Many of those migrations will be delayed, and the reasons behind those delays are not uncommon from company to company. However, perhaps the most substantial challenge is the lack of skills, which is considered the biggest inhibitor to cloud adoption. A recent PricewaterhouseCoopers study stated 63% of executives say the lack of skilled teams is the biggest obstacle to digital innovation. 96% of infrastructure and operations leaders are not prepared with the skills, behaviors, or culture needed over the next three years to support their organization's transformation. By 2022, the talent pool for emerging technologies will be inadequate to fill at least 30% of global demand, and effective skills development and retention will become differentiating strategies. 
This skill shortage will drive customers to seek external help and Gartner forecasts the use of cloud managed service providers will increase from 30% in 2018 to 55 to 60% by 2022. AWS customer enablement services can help enterprises overcome this, the cloud skills gap, which we'll cover on the next slide. AWS customer enablement helps customers migrate and build faster in the cloud through a comprehensive set of offerings, including AWS professional services, which provides advisory, migration, modernization, and innovation solutions, AWS support, which provides expert guidance and assistance, AWS IQ, which is a marketplace of deep AWS talent, AWS training and certification, which provides deep training and enablement capabilities to help train teams at scale. The AWS Partner Network, which offers deep skills working with all of the various AWS components. And finally, AWS Managed Services, which helps you operate in the cloud while you focus on differentiation, modernization, and automation. AWS Managed Services provides cloud infrastructure management. It helps prepare for, execute and support a migration and enables your business to transform to operating in AWS long-term. AMS accelerates migration to the cloud by providing a prescriptive foundational architecture with operational tools, processes, and compliance. Customers don't have to worry about building from the ground up. Rather, they can take advantage of what we've built for them. AWS has two operating models, advanced and accelerate. We'll discuss both models in the upcoming slides. AWS Managed Services, or AMS, provides substantial value for the enterprise. By accelerating the migration to the cloud, by enabling the foundational capabilities organizations require to operate, reducing operational costs, and providing a pathway to drive return on investment into modernization and innovation, our customers typically experience 30% cost optimization from resource cost avoidance and 25% ongoing operational and infrastructure savings. Reducing operational security and compliance, vendor risk, and general compliance risks. AMS is compliant with common frameworks, including HIPAA, High Trust, GDPR, SOC, NIST, four flavors of ISO, PCI, and FedRAMP. By enabling the customer to focus on innovation by offloading the mundane tasks of cloud infrastructure operations, by empowering the customer's IT teams to build muscle around construction of infrastructure and managing change to workloads, and leveraging best practices established by AWS for landing zone architecture. AMS in advanced mode covers key core areas required for cloud operations, such as provisioning and onboarding of resources, over 100 security and operational guardrails and compliance checks, monitoring and alerting for infrastructure resources, AWS best practices, architectural insights, and cost optimization recommendations, operating system patching, backups, and continuity management, change management, lever leveraging requests for change, case management, including incidents and service requests, and ITSM integration via API or the AMS ServiceNow connector. For customers looking for infrastructure operations with existing AWS accounts and workloads, AMS launched its Accelerate operating model as generally available in March of 2021. AMS Accelerate is specifically designed to provide operations of infrastructure in native AWS accounts, so there's no need to migrate to a pre-configured account or use AMS provisioning systems to deploy your infrastructure. Accelerate augments your team with infrastructure operations capabilities such as monitoring, incident, security, compliance, patch, and backup management for enterprises with existing AWS workloads in addition to new workloads. So to recap, AMS offers two operating models, advanced and accelerate. This graphic shows a side-by-side -side comparison of the two models in terms of operational capabilities. As you can see, Advanced provides a higher degree of operational capabilities and rigor, whereas Accelerate is designed to augment your existing team and extend its operational capabilities for workloads already running in AWS.
As we've discussed, it's a journey to unlock the full value of the AWS cloud. That journey can be complicated by challenges faced during the various phases of the migration, especially in the case of cloud operations capabilities. AWS recently commissioned a Forrester Total Economic Impact Study for AWS Managed Services. Through interviews with enterprise customers, Forrester examined the potential return on investment they might realize by working with AMS. The study results included an, a return on investment of 243%, a net present value of $7.7 .7 million, and a benefits present value of $10.8 million. Investment benefits over three years include $3.2 million in resource cost avoidance, $2.3 million in cost savings from accelerated migrations to the cloud, $872,500 in optimized resource efficiency gains, $2.9 million in cost savings from avoided management infrastructure fees, $1 million in cost savings from reduced chance of a major security breach, and $2.5 million gained incremental revenue as a result of increased uptime. So based on this study and these details, let's take a look at a few customer stories. So AWS Managed Services helped Thomson Reuters as part of a divestiture exit seven data centers within a very tight timeframe. They migrated workloads across four distinct business units, including central IT and three disparate lines of business. Their migration consisted of 411 applications and 12,000 servers. Thomson Reuters started their journey with AMS with a 68% automation rate on changes and has since approved to nearly 98% automation with over twice the volume. AWS Managed Services helped Change Healthcare as part of an acquisition migrate out of a data center. Change Healthcare was challenged with a lack of skilled resources to operate workloads in AWS. They migrated over 300 servers and a legacy electronic medical record platform to AWS, including two key applications and 12 environments in just two months. Change Healthcare was also able to release a rebranded SaaS offering within four months in the AWS cloud. AWS Managed Services helped Sally May reduce operational costs and exit multiple data centers. They needed to meet financial regulatory compliance and the rapidly evolving needs of their customer base. Sally May was able to migrate 71 production applications in just seven months and shut down two data centers. Planned maintenance was reduced by 30% through automated patching, costs were reduced by 30%, and savings objectives were met in the first year. So as you can see, AMS creates substantial value for the enterprise and helps customers adopt the cloud faster, more efficiently, and with, with a much lower risk profile. Thank you for attending this Tech Talk.